Welcome to the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. And, of course, also brought to you by Coca-Cola. We invite you to experience the Coke side of life. Let's take a look at the highlights of today's ball game. Well, Buck now going out to that 14-3 lead. And early here in that first quarter, they set it all up with a 25-yard catch by Will Carter. And then that end around out of that bunch formation, we'll come back to that Lafayette struggle with that formation all day long. And here's a big play. This was a roughing the passer call at a 7-3 game, an incomplete play. Uh, but you're going to see Michael Root. He's got to take on the tight end here in the back of the end zone. Podzielski comes up, and that's a 14-3 lead. In that third quarter, Lafayette elected to kick the wind. And then again, you look at the formation, that bunch formation. Lafayette, no answer for that today. Will Carter with another end-around toss play. Touchdown, Lafayette answered. Joey Chenoweth down the field, 65 yard on the first play of this drive. Drew Reed with a strike, and Joey Chenoweth cuts that lead to 21 to 10. And then Lafayette looks like they have a little bit of life. Into the wind, a bad throw by RJ Nitty is picked off by the freshman Eric Mitchell. He takes it down the sideline. Two plays later, you're gonna see the big guy, Michael Dunn, who is my all-star for the game, take that in for a touchdown. Now you're at 21-17. The flip of the quarter and the back at the wind, uh, the, the wind at the back of Bucknell. Freshnock did a nice job going, coming in for uh, Joey DeFloria, who ended up with over 125 yards rushing. Freshnock takes it in for the touchdown. That gets it to 35-17. And then again, you're going to see Freshnock just kind of run the clock out here. Some good running and great blocking. That offensive line, all seniors up front for Bucknell, really put it to the Lafayette defense in that second half. Their inability to get off the field, they have not stopped the run for three straight weeks and has resulted in three straight losses. Joey DeFloria with his second best running game of the season, 134 yards as he did it on 28 carries, not quite matching his 154 that he had against Cornell. Chad Freshnock, the freshman, 16 carries, 71 yards, and he had himself a couple of touchdowns as Bucknell ran for unofficially about 265 yards today against the Lafayette defense. The leading rusher for Lafayette was Mike Dunn, the freshman, 10 carries for 49 yards uh, as uh, Lafayette comes away on the short end of a 42 to 17 score. Frank Tavani, I believe, is working his way to John Leone where we will have a short chat with him uh, prior to calling it a day. Remember, we'll be back on the air next Saturday as Georgetown comes to Easton, Pennsylvania for a 12.30 kickoff as the Lafayette Sports Network team will be there to bring you that ball game. And let's go down on the field. Uh, coach, uh, you know, uh, boy, you, you look like really in that third quarter, you decided to take the wind early. Take us through the thought process because it really turned the game for a little while there. Well, we really felt it down, you know, at that point. You got to, in the third quarter, get the game back in order. And we weren't really having that much trouble against the wind. But, uh, you know, again, you know, the frustration mounts. My, you know, credit to uh, Coach Susan and his team, you know, playing an outstanding game. We are going to be frustrated watching the film, as I just told them there. Too many self-inflicted issues. You know, we went to rest uh, Mike Dunn there and took him off special teams. And, he doesn't know it. You get a spot. He runs on. Now you got that. That's a coaching deal, and I got to get on staff about that problem. But much more than that, we uh, we self-impose too many problems. We get stops, and we get a late hit in the quarterback. That's a questionable call again. On this, we're running a route. Nobody else in the country gets called for that. That's twice now in two weeks. But bottom line is, we got outplayed and got beat. Our kids are working hard. I can't I can't say anything about that. Our practices have been unbelievable. So. The old adage, you play how you practice, I, I you know, I, I don't know. That doesn't seem to be uh, working for us, but we're, uh, we'll get it done. Coach, you spent an awful lot of time with them just now at the other end of the field. Do you sure. care to share uh, any of the thoughts well, you have? Well, you know, there's no, at this stage, you know, there's no yelling and screaming. I ain't doing anybody any good. You know, the bottom line is we got to stay together, and everybody's got to believe in each other, and we got we to gotta work hard. This is my fault, my responsibility. I've let them down. It's not on them, but they got to stick together and stay with us. And we're still going to get something done here. Uh, we got three weeks over a four-week period. And, um, you know, there were some things that were better and some things that not. So right now you're just a struggling football team. Talk a little bit before we let you go, Coach, about Mike Dunn. Uh, you know, he gave you a, a, a boost. You know, he's a freshman, first-year player. Uh, he gave you a little bit of a shot in the arm off the bench in the run game. Well, we've been seeing it in practice. We saw it in preseason how hard he ran and everything. And actually in preseason I was going to move more to strike because he's played outside linebacker and 
safety and some things. And uh, then he actually moved over to defense, and we had to yank him back prior to last week. Uh, right after the Army game, we had to bring him back because uh, C.J. Mills got a pretty serious hit pointer and didn't practice until, like, Friday running around, so he couldn't do that. So we worked three backs. We, from practice, we assessed who was doing what. We said we were going to assess in the game, and he was getting it done. He's making people miss. He's running hard, getting extra yards, and uh, that's what you need in the run game. So it's the guy that's getting the job done that's going to play. Coach, I know win, lose, or draw, you will continue to practice hard. You will continue to play hard, and we know we'll see you next Saturday against Georgetown, giving it your best shot. There is no doubt. My glass is always half full. Got it, Coach. Gary Michael, a frustrating day, as you could tell, from Coach Tavani here uh, in Lewisburg, but uh, we will be with you again next week when we take on Georgetown. Back to you guys. All right, John. Final score, Bucknell 42, Lafayette 17. We thank you for spending time with us on Masson and all of our other affiliates on the Lafayette sports network my thanks to mike joseph john leone rick Dio has been our director today and the rcn television team for all of us i'm gary laubach goodbye everybody <laughs>